don't know why. I don't know. Every I, don't know. Time. I don't know. I don't know why. It's just like it's like automatic. I guess uh, my brain is like ready to ready to do it. <laughs> Loose Ivy and you. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We got we got some more. We got some more epicness for you. What do we have today, Ibi? Uh, we got some uh, juicy content Ooh, that yeah. I don't think is a laughing matter. So now, so yeah, yeah we've we've yeah. entered we've entered the 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 part of the story, the part of the saga where I'm calling it. We haven't seen the videos yet, but but I'm calling it that the the time for joking and and laughter, and now things are getting um, is now over, and now things are getting. Why does out of hand come to mind? I think things are come getting out of hand. I think this is really now where, just based on the titles that I'm reading about threats and physical harm, mm. and Yeza now actually being in danger because of some choices that he's made. So now we are at an intersection. Literally, we're at a crossroads where uh, cultures meet reality, and the time for games has now ended. You are you are messing with real people's lives. You are messing with real reputations. You are messing with real honor. And there's some consequences to that. Always. Again, this is a great reminder of how different the world is, right? We tend to be in a bubble. We're from Canada, North America, and we're in a bit of a bubble. And I know that in the States, the bubble's even more so because they're already dealing with so much within the country itself. It's very hard to, to know what's happening outside. outside. But the world is vibrant, it is buzzing, it is moving, it is cultural, it is colorful. It's, it's all the things that, that clearly uh, Brittany was not ready for. Mm -hmm. Anyways, mm -hmm. you ready to do this? Let's rock it out, man. This is some uh, socket, my boy. Okay, mama. Uh, oh. So Yezen asked his brother. Also, he looks absolutely destroyed. Yeah. Oh my god. So we had dead me is an uh Joe's to Britney. Who am I heke? Then who uh Haifa bag the head of Yen the head to Yahmi. Oh my god. No, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you think he actually meant that he'll kill him? Okay, so because the same look, thing crossed my mind. So like, look, let me tell you something. Parents make threats a lot. <laughs> yeah, Not yeah. necessarily meaning them. <laughs> it's true. It's just to scare. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, a threat on my life is actually a pretty, uh, com was a common occurrence. <laughs> I mean, it was uh, just more of a, it was an empty threat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was it's... usually, it usually came out of a place of frustration and anger and really just uh, a means to just like instill fear. Like, like, they won't actually kill you. <laughs> They'll beat the mm. crap out of you mm -hmm. until you wish you were dead. But here's my, but, <laughs> okay, no, yeah, that's a good one. I'm I like that. I'm just joking. Have we ever done anything remotely close to what has happened here? Absolutely not. Okay, so as far as relating, we get off here, bing! We, we do the bus stop, we get off here because we can't relate to it anymore. Now we're, I'm, I'm, I'm putting myself in, in Yezan's father's shoes mm -hmm. and in his mind. He tried to save his son. Mm -hmm. It didn't work. The father, as the head of the family, needs to now think about the greater good. The entire family? Yes, sir. The tribe as well? Yep. They don't want to ruin the name. Your, your name, your honor, everything is of immense importance. The tribal identity is actually still very common and present in Jordan. I mean, he's taking it seriously. Yeah. Like, he is taking like, it seriously. This has become like legit a, a real soap opera. Oh, no. When I say seriously, it's not like, oh, my God, dad's upset. I mean, like, no, like he is scared for his life. Yeah, Look he, at his face. he's making plans his reaction, now he has. To, to either leave the leave the city or the country or to 
to go and, and beg for, for his father and the family and the, the, the tribe's forgiveness. Yeah, and you see, it's such a it's such a cool thing to see his brother now in here. We haven't seen his brother yet. He, he's just super like he's as an outsider. He's like, why why is this even now a question for yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Like the thing is, like, look, right now, after all the crap you've been through with this female, <laughs> okay, wouldn't you at this freaking point? let go of your relationship, if you want to call it a relationship. Is it even called a relationship at this point? No. It's not a call it a relationship. Just let it go, man. Yeah. No. I'm pretty sure your family's more important to what the hell she's doing to you. Yeah, and the worst part is that she's overseas and she thinks that he's becoming a man. <laughs> and like her version of manhood is literally gonna get him killed. 100%. And <laughs> she, I don't, yo, by the way, if she tells her that, yeah. she'll get so offended and, and she'll think, she'll think you won't do anything for me. Yeah. After what have you done? You, what have you done for me? Yeah, yeah. What have you done for me lately? He's so outside of himself. Look at him. He's absolutely a stranger to who he really is. I know that. I know for a fact that he's not acting within his regular behavior patterns. Absolutely, yeah. He is so outside of his comfort zone. Just, just like he's, he's out. He's beyond. He's, he's left completely. I don't. I don't get it. I just don't understand. <laughs> His brother is sitting here highlighting all the things that are clearly wrong. But kind of like shaking him. He's like, yeah, wake yeah. up, bro. Yeah. Like you're in a bad dream. Like, what are you doing? And you know the term, love is blind, right? And I don't even think it is love in this case. How far do you have to go for when the people that love you most are thinking about you and you're not even thinking about you? Like, I don't even see how you could love a person that much. Yeah. In that amount of time to the point where you can not choose between her or your family under these circumstances. And his brother brought up a point. He's like, he's like, you asked her to take the pictures down and she still, not only did she not take them down, he's talking about the Instagram pictures, yeah, yeah. but she actually kept posting and they're actually getting even worse. And she's still uploading, yeah. And, and so the conversation is not about submission and about oppression and about uh, um, uh, owning uh, Brittany and controlling her and all this stuff. It's just consideration. That's it. It's the principle. That's it. You're gonna marry someone, you have to, you're, you're, you're gonna share decisions. You're gonna share a life. You're gonna share a repu reputation. He's transferring his honor system from his family to his new family, the one that he's trying to build with you. Doing that small little task right there. Now's not the time to martyr yourself for the sake of whatever empowerment or feminist ideology you wanna lean on to, to boost your rap career and Cheeto's sponsorship. It's not the time right now. You had an opportunity to show him that you care and that you were willing to make a compromise, not a sacrifice, a compromise. compromise. Big where difference. Both parties leave with something in return and, and they're both comfortable with the deal. And her compromise would have been making him happy and actually having a little bit of self-respect. I mean, listen, at the end of the day, uh, it's, not, it's not a bad thing if you, uh, if you removed all those ass and, and side boob pictures. Honestly, and then plus, let me add one more thing. He is not willing to compromise anything for her and neither is she to do this all in return. So how they're still together and how he can't decide yeah. whether to let her go or not is beyond me. <laughs> she's not, when, I like how he says, when, when she does, it's she's wishful, not going it's to. It's wishful thinking, bro. She's not going to. First, she pled ignorance. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, right? I don't know your culture, I don't know your religion, I don't know the language, these are all things, I'm so, I was so caught off guard, oh my god, right? She tried that. When that didn't work, no, when I first met Yazan, he was a feminist, and he said he was very different, and he was gonna take care and buy everything, which by the way, that's not what feminism is. He was gonna take care and buy everything and support us and put a roof over our head and do all that stuff, but it's just not happening about, so she's like, She's adapting and she's changing to wherever the wherever the clout is, wherever the the attention can be. Yeah. And and, and meanwhile, yeah. he's suffering for it. 
طب يعني هسه از ماني از يو انا وياها yeah. واوريديها انه انا قديش ضحيت <تصفيق> ولازم انت تضحي نفس التضحيه اللي انا ضحيتها <تصفيق> تعمل ديليت لحياتها السابقة اه زي ما انا عملت ديليت ونبلش انا وياها حياة جديدة I love how he speaks of letting go of his life as if it was a decision as if it's something that didn't happen right there on the spot when his parents kicked him out of the house yeah I love how he says it like that yeah I love how he thinks in his mind that the only way this is going to work out is if they get rid of their former selves which is crazy to me. He's in way too deep yeah. and he doesn't know how to let go. Hey, son, I want to tell you that you're going to tell me 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 that you're if you're making excuses and you're doing the impossible, then she's not worth it. She's not worth it. She hasn't given you the, 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 the tools that you need to actually like stand up on your own, like together, the both of you. Like you're a unit. It's not, it's not all on you. I don't know why he has all this pressure on himself. Bro, it's not even that. Look, look, this side right here. I am fighting for her. What about your brother that you've grown up with your entire freaking life? What about your mother? What about your dad? What about your whole family? Yeah. What about that? You're not gonna fight for that? You're not even trying. You're literally at this point against them. Yeah. Yeah, and it, this is really done, bro. a one off. Yeah, me too, man. That's this is exhausting. <laughs> Like, I literally but don't but understand why he is so starstruck about her. I, I don't get it. Like, I want to make sure if she really loves me or not. The fact that this is even a question makes me want to jump off a bridge. Yep. The fact that it, this is even something that, that he's contemplating. I want to make sure if she lo Bro, even if a girl uh, 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 loved me to the moon and back, if all she did was, was tell me how much she loved me, yep. I still wouldn't leave my, my, my family. Hell no. Like, I still wouldn't make those sacrifices. It's like, cool, if you love me, well then you love me and everything that is me. Exactly. And everything here that you see is me. It's That's a part right. of me. Right? And they were willing. They were open. They, they, they tried their best. Breakdown in communication. Failed preparation. No education. Nothing happened. They didn't build it properly. The family tried multiple occasions to uh, entertain mm. this idea. Oh, and by the way, everything he just mentioned is not only... Britney's fault. It's mostly Yazan's. Full full responsibility on him. That is like yeah. out of the question. For sure. Bro, like you got <laughs> life is already destroyed, man. You gotta think about the alternative, yeah. Like even if things do work out for the best, like are you really better off than, than you were before? When it comes to the honor and the dignity of the family whether you're thinking religiously or you're thinking culturally, the two seem to intertwine mm. uh, at this stage. Even in today's age, when you call it, I guess, the modern age, open-minded parents in the Arab culture, which is fantastic. It has helped us grow up mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in our current uh, country as Canadians, proud Canadians. And I think that it has benefited us a lot. But we cannot be ignorant to the fact that there's a lot of people who still hold on very strongly to a greater good mentality. It's a collective. If one person is harming the collective, then a decision has to be made on what happens at that point. Honor and dignity, family, the collective, the community, the country, the culture, everything. <laughs> and the worst part in all of this is that Brittany probably still has her perma face. Regardless of what happens, we know what face she's gonna make. Zero. Okay.